This is part 22 of jQuery tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to wrap and unwrap elements. Here, we have the list of jQuery methods that help us wrap and unwrap elements. Since these methods modify the DOM, they belong to DOM manipulation category. Let's understand these methods one by one with examples. First, let's look at wrap method. Wrap method wraps an HTML structure around each element in the set of matched elements. Let's understand what we mean by this statement with an example. Here, we've got three div elements. And look at the jQuery selector here, dollar $div. What is this selector going to do? It's going to return us all these three div elements. On that jQuery collection object, we're calling the wrap function. And look at what we're passing as a parameter to the wrap function. We're passing another HTML structure as a parameter. So this wrap function is going to take that HTML structure and wrap each element that this jQuery selector is going to return. So when we execute this code on this HTML on the left, the HTML on the right will be produced. So here we have the original div and notice surrounding that we have the container div and that happens for all the three div elements. So let's look at this in action. Let's flip to Visual Studio. So here we have the three div elements and we have the ready function wired up. Now, if we view this page in the browser, this is how it looks like. Let's launch the browser developer tools by pressing F12 and look at the three div elements in the DOM. Now, within the ready function, let's include $div, which is going to give us all the div elements. And on that, let's call the wrap function and then let's specify the HTML. So div class equals container div and let's close the div element. And let's also create this container div class. So let's include a style section and the name of the style class is going to be container div and let's specify a few styles. We want background color to be red and font color to be white and font weight to be bold and finally a margin of three pixels. All right, so let's save these changes. And when we reload this page, look at what's going to happen. First of all, the styles are applied to all the three div elements. And look at what happened to the HTML in the DOM. So that's the you know, original div element. And surrounding that, we've got container div. And look at all the three div elements. It happened for all the three div elements. So that's what the wrap method does. It's going to wrap the specified HTML around each element that this selector is going to return. Now let's look at the unwrap method. What is this function going to do? It's going to remove the parents of the set of matched elements from the DOM. So let's understand that with an example. So if you look at the HTML that we have in the DOM at the moment, so that's the inner div and the parent for that div is this div, container div. Okay, so now if we call unwrap on the set of div elements, what is this going to do? Now what does the unwrap method do? It removes the parents of the set of matched elements. So what is the parent of, the, of this div element, this container div? So we're calling unwrap on div elements. So it's going to remove all the container div elements. So let's save the changes and when we reload look at what's going to happen. The styles are removed and look at that. We have the original divs in place but the container divs are removed because they are the parents of these matching div elements so they are removed and that's what the unwrap function does. An unwrap function does not take any parameters. Now let's look at wrap all. Wrap all method is going to wrap a specified HTML structure around all elements in the set of matched elements. If you look closely, there's a subtle difference between wrap and wrap all functions. So what is wrap going to do? Wrap is going to wrap the specified HTML around each element, whereas wrap all is going to wrap the specified HTML around all elements. So here, look at the example. We're calling wrap all on the set of same div elements. So this specified HTML will now be surrounding all these three div elements. So we have all the three div elements and surrounding them we have our container div. So let's look at that in action. So instead of wrap, let's use wrap all. 
and when we reload this page look at that so we have the original three div elements and surrounding that we have our container div so that's what wrap all does now let's look at wrap in a this method is going to wrap an HTML structure around the content of each element in the set of matched elements. So if you look at these div elements, the content is div1, div2, div3. And look at what we are doing here. We are calling wrap in a on the set of div elements. And this is the HTML structure. So what is this going to do? This is going to wrap this HTML structure around the content of the div elements. So the content of the div element is div1. Notice that around that content, we have the container div. So that's what wrap inner does. And surrounding that, we have the original div. So let's look at this in action. So instead of wrap all, let's use wrap inner. And when we reload this, look at that. So that's the content div1. Surrounding that, we have container div. And surrounding that, we have the original div. And that happens for all the three div elements. Now, if we call unwrap, what is going to happen? Is this unwrap function going to remove the container div or the div with ID attribute? It's going to remove the div with ID attribute because that is the parent. Okay, so when we reload this page, look at that you know, the div elements with ID attributes are gone and we are only left with container divs. Thank you for listening and have a great day.